Time now for the first installment of the off-season check-ins for this summer of 2017 here on Crusaders TV. I'm Taylor Medic, and I'm with Crusaders head coach Adam Manna. Back again for another year, Adam, and we're kicking off the off-season check-ins. We started this year uh, last year, and it's went pretty well, so we're going to do it again. And uh, first off, how's your summer been? It's been outstanding. Thanks for asking. Uh... It's been busy. Um, we've been uh, running our uh, crew skates uh, since the beginning of June and we've been going twice a week just working on skills and so that's kept us busy every day or, or well every uh, couple of days per week and and so uh, that's been going and then uh, we're here at the you know brick tournament right now and that keeps me busy in the in the first week of July so um, you know just trying to just trying to relax a little bit but uh, I was lucky enough to get away to Florida in May and and uh, you know, spend a couple weeks down there, which was which was awesome. So uh, all in all, it's been uh, it's been a really good off season so far, and uh, the season's right around the corner, so it's coming quick. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, spoiler alert: we're here at uh, West Edmonton Mall in Edmonton, Alberta, at the Ice Palace. The uh, annual Brick Invitational Hockey Tournament is going on. Some of the best novice teams throughout North America involved in this tournament. Uh, quickly on this. You've done this uh, for quite some uh, some time, and, and what you're doing is you're doing some play-by-play. -play. Uh, you're trading in the whistle for the uh, the headset, and it's uh, it's a fun time for you. Just quickly uh, on this experience. Oh, it's uh, it's fantastic. Uh, you know, there's a reason why I've been wanting to come back for eight eight years now, and uh, you know, it's the best it's the best novice tournament that's that's out there, and it's it's such a cool experience for the kids just to be able to play right right inside the mall in this barn. Uh, the fans are right on top of you. It's 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 unbelievable. I wasn't lucky enough to play in the brick tournament back when I played, but um, you know I knew a lot of guys that did, and they talked very highly about it. And they do such a good job. The the volunteers, the tournament committee, um, you know Craig Styles. Uh, so so it's 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 pretty unique. Uh, and I and again I'm I'm just doing the play by play. I'm just doing the call. And really I just want to see what your life is like and what your job is, uh, because you know I know it's a tough one. And so uh, you know we. I feel pretty exhausted after calling a couple games. Welcome uh, just, to my world. Yeah. yeah, just mentally, it's it's it it takes a toll on you. So, uh, but it's but it's fun, and so uh, like like I said, it's uh, the talent that's out here. You're gonna see them. You're gonna see some guys getting drafted in the NHL, and you know, about eight years or so, you'll see them in the draft, and um, that's that's what makes it pretty special. And and you can say, well, maybe they'll use the the clip that uh, that I that I called in that game. So. <laughs> So, you know, it's, 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 it's a blast. Yeah. It's a blast. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Good stuff. All right. Well, speaking of a blast, uh, your first year uh, under your belt as a head coach in the AJHL with the Sherd Park Crusaders. Uh, you got extended as well as a one-year deal for, for you, Jeff, and Kyle. Uh, you guys get extended. Obviously, that means you guys did a, a job well done. Uh, when you come away uh, and having some time away from the rink uh, this offseason so far and reflecting back on your first year, what are some things that come to mind? Well, it was uh, it was definitely um, it was a mixed bag this year, I guess you could say, because uh, you know we had to endure a lot and we had to go through a lot uh, in our first year in terms of trying to start to change the culture and and just try and uh, you know make it what we want it to be, and and so again, it doesn't happen in one year, and it's going to take longer than a year, and and we're fortunate that they're going to give us that time to to build it and grow it and this is going to be a young hockey team next year and we're excited about that but uh, when you look back at the first year overall it's a pretty you know we were we were okay with it did you know you want to win obviously yeah. but but again some of the some of the lessons that that we instilled and, and some of the things that we brought in um, you know came I guess center fold with with you know near the end of the year and some of the kind of the harsh disciplines that we had to, that we had to uh, you know Kind of follow through with so um you know all in all we it was it was good but we uh you know we know we have lots of room to grow and and uh the only direction we want to go is up and and there's still a lot of work to do yeah you got a lot uh, thrown at you uh, throughout the entire year not only yourself uh, and the coaching staff in jeff witka but gm kyle chase as well your first spring camp as a head coach under your belt as well well attended one of the best uh, spring camps you guys have had uh, in a long time obviously that means people want to come to the organization you're doing something right and what a, a top 40 game uh, after that uh, that weekend was pretty exciting as well how excited were you coming away after that weekend 
knowing what's uh, what's out there to uh, hopefully uh, stock uh, the cupboards uh, from years to come. Well, it's pretty simple. We're uh, we're very excited about how spring camp went and and uh, you know our first first go at it. And obviously Kyle and, and Vinny have. Uh, have been around uh, longer than Jeff and I have, but um, you know, so we lean on them for that experience. But uh, you know, uh, we thought all four of us, uh, you know, really, really took the bull by the horns, and, and uh, like you said, it was our best camp, um, you know, in years. Uh, from what from what Vince said, who's our head scout, and um, you know, we were really happy with the talent that we recruited, and and Vince and Kyle do a great job of getting out and putting in the time, and along with Jeff and I, but we just don't get out as much as. Uh, as Kyle and, and Vinny do, yeah. so so and, and the rest of our scouts. So you got to give them a lot of credit for for getting out to the rinks and putting in the time with the parents and the players. And and we're trying to show people that this is a good a good organization to come to, and that they that they're going to get treated well, and that we're gonna you know we're gonna take care of them as as players and people, and we're gonna teach them the life skills that they need, and um, you know along with the fact that we want to make them into better hockey players and get them to the NCAA. So, um, you know, we're really happy with, with the talent uh, that we have moving forward. And, you know, going into main camp, it should be a very competitive main camp. And, um, you know, again, we had 180 players. And I guess to sum up, you know, spring camp, there's a lot of work that you got to put into it. It's, you know, as a staff, it's, you know, you, you have a lot of registration forms coming in. You have to organize them. You have to, you know, get the referees. You got to, you know, organize the teams. There's 10 teams. You know, times 18 guys a piece, roughly. So there's a lot of work that, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say people don't, uh, you know, understand or know how much goes into it, but there's a lot of planning and, and you got to make sure that you're organized and, and ready to go. So, uh, you know, we feel as a staff that we did a good job with spring camp and now we got to continue to bring that into main camp now. You mentioned uh, the guys that uh, move on and, and graduate to the next level. You get all your graduating players to uh, a post-secondary institution. What does that mean to you as a coach uh, when graduate players, obviously you want guys to go in. You had some some guys that were eligible to come back that made the jump to the Western League. Obviously, uh, that just goes to show you uh, that you guys uh, did a good job in development this year, but specifically the graduating players. What does that mean to you to, to see all guys get a, a deal at the next level, whether it's in town uh, in the ACAC or at the NCAA at uh, various division levels? Well. I guess it's it's exactly where we want them to, to be uh, when they when they graduate from our program. It's it doesn't really get any easier uh, easier to say than that. Uh, you know, we want them to go to the NCAA. We want them to go to the ACAC and um, you know the CIS even. And and there, there there's so many leagues. But as long as we know they're graduating and they're going to school and and uh, getting a chance to continue to pursue pursue their dream of playing hockey and and uh, getting an education behind it, then that means we're uh, you know we're doing our job as a staff, and and we can't be more happy for for the guys that graduated. And then, like you mentioned, with uh, you know the guys like Coltrane Wilson, Brennan Stafford, uh, Arjun Atwal, uh, who left us obviously earlier in the year in January. But um, you know all three of those guys, we can at least you know say that we we did a good job of developing them uh, as a staff, and and uh, you know we're happy that they're they're moving on to the Western League. That's you know that's another step up, and and so you know. All in all, we're we're pretty happy with with uh, you know graduating. I guess well eight guys on if you want to count it yeah. eight or nine uh, out of our out of our lineup. So um, you know that's our goal and that's and that's what we're trying to pride ourselves in is that we'll get we'll get players to the next level and and uh, we're going to continue to do that going into year two. Well, with that being said, graduating players means there's new players coming in. The roster is going to look uh, a lot different uh, than it did last year uh, coming into this year in a lot of areas. We won't talk specifics about that, but I'll ask you, as a coach, what do you like most about working with new players? Uh, there's lots of options and, and answers, I guess, but for you personally, what do you like best about working with uh, new guys coming into whatever program uh, you're coaching? Uh, I would describe it as they are young and hungry. And they are uh, they are wanting to learn as much as they possibly can. That would be uh, that would probably be the best way to sum it up. Or we're seeing it in the uh, in the crew skates right now that uh, you know guys are just you know even though we're just working on skills, we're you know they're just so they're so dialed into what we're teaching them, and 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 they just work hard, and and the work ethic is there, and and uh, the, the character piece is probably the biggest one where um, you know they show up to the rink every day, they're excited to be there, they want to get better. Um, you know that's that's probably the main components that we're 
you know, makes us, you know, the most jacked about the start of the season is that we got a group of, of signed guys and, and, and along with our veterans that are coming back that are that are putting in the time to want to to want to be better players. And, and if you put in the time, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. The math, the math usually adds up that you're going to get better. So, um, you know, that was, again, not to refer back to me, but that was one of my faults, um, you know, coming out of, I guess, Pee Wee was that in Bantam and Midget and Junior, I just didn't put in enough time to want to get better as a player. And so, um, you know, I give credit to these guys that they're on the ice and that they're putting in the time and, and wanting to, to work every, uh, you know, well, I guess two times a week to, to improve their game. So they're going to be well on their way. Uh, and, you know, we're just here to guide them in the right direction and, and help them along the way. You mentioned character. And from what I've heard, especially coaches at the highest levels, uh, especially the collegiate level, I hear this a lot, character is almost the number one trait that they look for in a player. It doesn't matter if it's skill, size, all those kind of game-relatable attributes, but character, that's the biggest thing. And it looks like it's trickled down to this organization as well. Well, and that's, and that's exactly what we're trying to, again, make kind of the face of our of our logo or face of the organization is that we want character kids. Uh, we want, you know, respectful young men that come in and, and uh, you know, that are going to take pride in, in wearing the Crusaders logo. And that's that's the biggest thing and that they want to, you know, again, put in the time. They want to work hard every day. They, they show up wanting to get better. And, and again, like character can be defined in, in so many different ways. But, uh, you know, I guess one of them would be, uh, you know, we're on the ice right now and, and it's there's only Jeff and I that are on the ice. So, Usually when we break off into stations, there's four stations on the ice and you kind of watch which players will, you know, what they will do when you're not watching. Yeah. And that's and that's a character trait that, you know, are they continuing to do the drill properly and are they continuing to, to bear down and work hard when you're not watching? And and so that's that's one example, I guess, of, uh, of a good character trait. And it, and it goes on and off the ice. You know, are they handling themselves the right way? Are they uh, putting the time in the, in the gym and, and, and their off-season training program? And, and so all those factors play into one, but we're, uh, you know, like we said, we're, we're really happy with, with the direction we're heading and we're, we're excited about, uh, you know, the, the start of the season with, with these young guys. All right, a couple more for you, Adam, as we're continuing our off-season check-in here. The first of summer 2017. Uh, camp's coming up. Uh, it's right around the corner. I mean, less than two months, I think, or exactly two months on the nose. Uh, what uh, you know? What goes in the next couple of weeks for you getting ready for camp? What sort of things are you doing specifically as a coach to get ready for uh, late August? Well, uh, I guess personally for me, uh, on the development side, uh, you know they're having the Alberta Coaches Conference this weekend. It's unfortunate, like it's unfortunate that I wasn't able to go, uh, just because it's so beneficial to just go learn from other coaches and and their experiences, and you take all that in and you absorb it, uh, similar to a sponge. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that I'm missing that because I'm uh, calling the games here, but it's obviously not all bad because this is, uh, this is a lot of fun too. But um, to counter that, I've been, uh, you know, I signed up to the coaches site.com. I get to watch a lot of the presentations that coaches have given, and that, and that coaches clinic is in BC. So it's, it's almost a little better in a way because I can do it on my time, and I can, uh, you know, try and – make myself better by uh by again learning more and and taking it all in and then uh as a staff we uh you know we're just we're just busy making uh calls checking in with guys uh you know seeing how their summer's going uh similar to what you're doing right now and uh, <laughs> just, uh off camera and a little maybe uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly so uh so yeah no it's 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 basically just just following up and, and checking in with the guys and making sure that they're on the right page and that they're putting in the time in the gym like we mentioned and uh staying on the ice and, and all those good things so um you know you want to give them their space too it's it's summertime they don't get a lot of time when when school's going on during the season so uh um so you want to let them uh you know cherish that time and, and have some fun and you know we just make sure that they're uh, not falling off the rails and that they're staying on track all right. Uh, well, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, that we really didn't want to divulge into uh, in, into some players and who you guys have brought in. We'll leave that uh, with uh, with Kyle Chase, the general manager. But uh, Adam, thanks a lot for taking the time out of your summer here to join us on a on an off season check in, the first one of this off season. And man, good thing no one's playing because we'd probably get hit with a puck. I, I can't believe some people watch these games here at the West Ed. Uh, 
through the screen. They they jump through and, and hang on the railing. Have you ever seen someone uh, get hit with the with the old rubber? Well, yeah, yeah. There's uh, you know some of these kids can shoot it. Uh, so better than me. Yeah, we've almost got hit up in the booth. So. Uh, um, well, you're a goaltender anyway, so yeah, some of these kids probably should be able to shoot harder than you, but uh, but yeah, they should have the uh, beware of flying pucks and objects, uh, you know, because uh, the, like we talked about right at the beginning, the crowd leans right over the glass, and unless you're on the upper level, you shouldn't get any pucks that high, but uh, yeah, we see some pucks getting fired, uh, you know, whether it's off the bar or just straight out, and uh, uh, as a fan, you got to be aware. So, uh, you know, again, even us up in the booth, uh, camera guys have taken a, a couple pucks in the past few years. So, um, you really got to be aware of what's going on in the ice. But, uh, you know, we got the semifinals coming up this afternoon. Should be some good action. And, uh, you know, we're probably going to start our recruiting at uh, 10 years old now that, uh, you know, now that we're uh, in place with the crew and you can't start too early. So, um, you know, some of these guys are going to be some real good players in, uh, in years to come. Well, it seems like a lot of teams are getting on the uh, the import train, so maybe you got to hit up the uh, the Minnesota and the Toronto teams. That's but uh, we'll great. leave that for another day. Uh, thanks again for joining us here on the, on the off-season check-in here on Crusaders TV. Stay tuned throughout the summer. We're going to have off-season check-ins as we build up uh, to training camp in late August as 2017-2018, uh, right around the corner. Thanks a lot, Adam. Thanks, Taylor.